Hello to my White Plains Elementary friends. I just want to tell you today how much I miss you and I love you and I wanted to come on today and talk a little bit about jobs and read you a book because we didn't get to talk about what you want to be when you grow up this year and if you've been at White Plains Elementary more than a year, you know that that's something we do every single year. And the reason we do that is because it's super important. It's time to start thinking about what you want to be when you grow up. You don't have to decide right now for sure what you want to do with your future, but it's time to start thinking about it. And that's why I chose this book. It's called when I Grow Up by Al Yankovic, and it's kind of a silly book with maybe some jobs that are really not for real, but it will get your wheels turning and get your imagination going and get you started and thinking about what you want to be when you grow up. Some of you may already know what you want to be when you grow up, or you may think you know. You may change your mind 10 times before the time comes, and that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and read this. When I grow up, I waited so long for the hours to pass, but soon it was noon there in Mrs. Krupp's class. And Thursday at noon, as I'm sure you know well, is the time of the week when we do show and tell. And this week, the subject so special to me was when I grow up, what am I going to be? That's something I'd really been thinking about and I just couldn't wait to let all those thoughts out. And I know there are some people who are watching this today who have lots and lots of thoughts that they want to let out. So find somebody to talk to about this and talk to your parents or your brothers and sisters about what you want to be when you grow up. So when Mrs. Krupp said, who's ready to share? You can guess who was there with his hand in the air. I raised both of my hands just as high as they'd go, and I bounced up and down, and then, what do you know? Well, Mrs. Crupp picked me, yes, me, to go first. Oh, I was so happy, I thought I would burst. I proudly stood up and began my oration concerning my future choice of vocation. <clears throat> Esteemed friends and colleagues and dear Mrs. Crupp, I know what I'm going to be when I grow up. Why, I'll be the greatest chef you've ever seen. The world will go crazy for my hot cuisine. And y'all know what a chef is, right? Somebody that makes really good food. Can be a girl, it can be a boy. Because girls can do any jobs boys can do. And boys can do any jobs girls can do. So don't forget that. You can be anything. No matter if you're a boy or a girl. I'll tantalize taste buds with my rigatoni. Sautéed with black truffles and pickled bologna. Surrounded by kumquats and candy pig's feet, topped with shrimp-flavored lollipops. Bon appetit! My walls will be filled with awards that I've gotten for toast on a stick and my Twinkies all gratin. My kitchen will be the most famous in France, so make reservations 12 years in advance. There's no doubt about it. I'm certain you see a world-renowned chef is what I'm going to be. Anybody want to be a chef? I think that'd be a fun job. That's very nice, Billy Sweet, Mrs. Krupp said. Who wants to be next? Maybe Susie or Fred? I said, hold the phone now. I haven't departed. Hang on to your seats because I'm just getting started. See, maybe instead... I could be a snail trainer. Man, that would be awesome. Why, that's a no-brainer. I'll teach all my snails to do really neat tricks. They'll play dead, roll over, and even fetch sticks. Of course, all the sticks will come back two years later. But working with snails, I mean, what could be greater? They'll do any stunt that I like. Holy moly. I'll train them to pedal a bike really slowly. Then jump, I mean, ooze through a huge ring of fire and crawl at a snail's pace across a high wire, then finish by writing my name with their trails. That's right, I'll be Billy, the master of snails. 
or else maybe I'll be a lathe operator who makes the hydraulic torque wrench calibrator, which fine tunes the wrench that's specifically made to retighten the nuts on the lateral blade that's directly beneath the main radial sockets inside cooling system on systems on X14 rockets. And since this profession's as cool as can be, well, who would be better to do it than me? So here's an idea, perhaps just for laughs, I might make my living by milking giraffes. It's oh so cliche to get milk from a cow, and I bet all those cows need a break anyhow. Imagine me milking way up in the air, I'd use a tall ladder instead of a chair. That would not be the job for me because I don't like heights. I don't like to be high up, do you? If you do, maybe that's the job for you. What? Milking giraffes, Mrs. Krupp said. Oh, please. I countered. How else would we make giraffe cheese? Now, don't interrupt me. I'm really not through yet. There's still lots of stuff that I'm planning to do yet. Because maybe I'll be a gorilla masseuse. Or an artist who sculpts out of chocolate mousse. Or a rodeo clown, or a movie director, or maybe professional pickle inspector, or big sumo wrestler, or hedge fund investor, or smelly pit sniffing deodorant tester. Now that is also a job that I do not want. That does not sound like fun to me. How about you? Or else I'll be an expert on nuclear fission, or else a foot model or friendly mortician, or waiter, or skater, or master debater, or dinosaur dusting museum curator, or TV repairman, or sidewalk sign waver, or part-time assistant tarantula shaver. And that's about when Mrs. Krupp said, now Billy, please make up your mind, this is getting quite silly, which one of those things are you going to choose? I shuffled around and I looked at my shoes. And finally, I said, my great-grandfather Bob's been a whole lot of things, had a whole lot of jobs. A butcher, a barber, a bellman, a bouncer, a telephone psychic and bingo announcer. You know what? He just turned 103 and he's still not sure what he wants to be. See, I'm only eight now, so frankly, I'm hoping you'll cut me some slack if I leave options open. Let's just wait and find out what my future brings. Hey, I might have time to do all of those things. So if you have more than one job in mind that you think you might like to do, that's great. That's good. You always need a plan B if one job doesn't work out. And then the bell rang, and we all went to lunch. And as I was sipping my pineapple punch, I pondered professions that I'd like to enter, like brave firefighter or crazy inventor. Or maybe, just maybe now, when I grow up, I can be a great teacher, like dear Mrs. Krupp. Any of you want to be a teacher? Something maybe you've thought about? Did anything else come to mind that you thought you might like to be as we were reading? If not, that's okay. You do have time to decide, but you do need to start thinking about it. So what I want you to do, I would like for you to find someone to talk about. And I'm really sad that I didn't get to ask you this time about what you want to be when you grow up, but we will do that the next time we talk about careers. Um, but I want you to find somebody and tell them what you think you might like to be when you grow up. And then I want you to find someone who already has a job, maybe your mom or your dad, or maybe an older brother or sister. Find out about what they like about their job and what they don't like about their job, because there's some things about any job that you're not going to like that much, and hopefully there's going to be some things that you really do love about your job someday and that's why you need to think about the things that you're good at the things that you that you enjoy doing and that goes a lot into your decision about what you want to do with your future so again you don't have to make up your mind right now about what you want to be when you grow up but do start thinking about it do start talking about it 
and I will be back next time to read some books about the tools that you might like to use on a job. You might be surprised at the things that can be counted as tools or maybe even the kind of hats you would like to wear on a job. Some jobs let you wear a hat. Not all jobs, but some of them do. And some jobs uh, you would need to drive a vehicle. So we'll also talk about what kind of vehicle you would like to drive on certain jobs. For some of you, that probably sounds like a lot of fun. And so I'll see you next time. Until then, stay safe. And I miss you. And hopefully we'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.